what do you do if you've got a situation that if you do tell the truth, it perpetuates the sin, it perpetuates like adultery? Telling the truth can never perpetuate the sin. But there's a wife involved. Doesn't matter. She and needs a, to know the truth. Husband he and needs to know the truth. Children so need to know the truth. you've got to go to them and confront it. Yes. <laughs> Yes. <laughs> yes. And children. And children, yes. They already know the truth emotionally anyway. It's already happening emotionally. Remember, remember what I said up here. You avoid truthfulness. You're just avoiding lots of emotion. Where? Within yourself. Not the other, you're not protecting the other person. You're being selfish and you're protecting yourself. That's what you're doing, right? And the reason why we avoid truthfulness is because we're protecting a, our own emotion within ourselves that we do not want to experience at that moment. With truthfulness, I was taught you use I statements and you just talk about yourself. But are you saying that you could actually... Uh, how, what does a child person? do? Does a child say, oh, I've got to use I statements uh, here, <laughs> so... <laughs> What does a child do? Like, just says what's there and just blurts it out, right? Be a child. Be, just be a child. The child, children do start use I statements. They say, I feel angry, I feel scared, I feel yeah, unloved. But sometimes they don't. But just, just go through, just be the child. Own the emotion though. Own the emotion. Don't be hard-hearted with the emotion. What's the other one underneath? That's it? That's enough, isn't it? There's quite a few other things I could be saying. But can you see, these are the things we do in order to stay, you know, these, are, these things that I've just listed are all things that we do to stay out of the emotion. So they're the things that we're doing denying our soul. If you notice yourself in any of them, start observing. See, oh, yeah, I did that again, denying another thing. You know? Oh well, I'm allowed to. <laughs> so do we not have to worry about how to couch the truthfulness in such a way that it's not blaming? Or Definitely not. Do, uh, one thing about couching truth. You know what I mean by couching truth? Yeah. Modifying the truth and making it feel really palatable to the person who's yeah. receiving it. Yeah. The problem with that is the truth is just the most beautiful as it is in its raw form. And we don't appreciate that. The truth in its raw form is the most beautiful thing you will experience. So you could say you're being a bitch and that's <laughs> the truth? If that's the truth of what you're feeling, but that's a projection. Mm. So it's not the truth of what you're so feeling that's actually. that's why I'm but. wanting to know what you mean by truth. Right, so go into your room, write down, she's being a bitch, she's being a bitch, she's being a bitch. What's underneath this? She's being a bitch, right? And allow yourself to feel what's underneath. What is underneath? Why was she a bitch? Why was she a bitch? Why was she a bitch? Because I'm feeling bitchy. Right. She didn't do it. Why do I feel she was a bitch? Why do I feel Alana was hurt. a bitch? Like, what? Because she didn't do what I wanted her to do. There, well, no, there has to be something in... Like, if you're being angry with me, and I'm feeling your anger, and I want to get angry back, there's a feeling that I'm denying within myself. Mm -hmm. Right? That's what I need to connect with, right? Mm -hmm. But to connect with that, you're angry with me. How am I feeling about that? I'm feeling angry. I want to get angry back. Why do I want to get angry back? Obviously, there's a deeper emotion, isn't there? Mm -hmm. Right? So go into a private space, kick the hell out of a punching bag or whatever, and say, get angry with that, you know, just really connect with that anger and allow yourself to do, go deeper into the underlying emotion. <laughs> How long? How long? <laughs> as long How as long as it is. How long's that? It's as long as it is. How long is this? It's as long everything is as long as it's going to be. So if you're with your emotions, it's just as long as it is. Stay in it until you just keep connecting. Stay there. Stay there. This is a lovely opportunity for you to stay there. 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 Oh, there's nothing there anymore. 
right? But if you stay there and then get out, then how many other times are you going to get, get, need to get back in? Yeah. Another five times. And you're going to need to stay there and get out every time. And still it won't be experienced, right? What have you done? You've had to create six events now, instead of one, to access that emotion. Why do that? All I'm doing when I'm doing that is just delaying my own happiness. That's all I'm doing. That's all I'm doing. So stop delaying your own happiness. Start wanting to be happy, and the only way to do that is by staying in the emotion as long as the emotion takes to release. So if it takes three days, it's three days, and you're out of action three days. But I've got to work. What about my kids? What about what's going on? Justification. They're all justifications for me to shut down my emotion. Why haven't I already created a space where I can cry for three days? Because I don't love my soul enough yet to create a space where I can cry for three days. That's the only answer, really. Right? And that's okay. I'm allowed to not love my soul. I'm allowed to not love my soul. Aren't I? Mm. Yeah? Free will. Yeah, I've got free will. I'm allowed to not love me. Gail's question involved truthfulness and responsibility. You see, I could understand being truthful to myself about myself, but to say something to another person, I don't know. But you have it, a fear. That is my perception. Of but but that doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. If you just say the truth right at that moment about how you're feeling, you know, you so can... So it's always about me. How about how you're feeling? If you can say the truth about how you're feeling, then it will soon be exposed what's underneath for you. I thought we were supposed to be telling the other person about themselves. That's why I was confused. No, no, no. I'm saying to say the truth about you. Okay, that's right? why I meant... So, so like, like, yes, today I, I wanted to cheat on you five <laughs> times. So if I came home as a husband and we were married, and I said I wanted to cheat on you five times today, how would you feel? I don't know, I'd asked, did you, <laughs> before I knew how I'd feel. Well, the thing is, you need to, if you were connecting with your emotions, and I was connecting with mine, we'd soon get to the bottom of why I felt that, wouldn't we? Yeah. But if you go into oh, judgment, that, if you go yeah. into judgment and anger, how, mu how much more difficult it is for me to go, be to express okay. my truth, right? And the truth is, I might not have been from the soul level really attracted to that person today five times. It might be just an injury that caused all these attractions. Now, but I'm never going to face it until I can say the truth about it. Okay, I understand that. So, yes, if you find a person certainly nasty to do with, you need to go to that person and say to them, I'm finding you really nasty. And this is how I feel when I'm finding you nasty. Like, when you're angry with me, I'm feeling like... Duh, 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 duh. And away you go. If you want to do that, do that. But she still has to go back and then feel how she feels about that in herself. Of course, oh, yeah. Yeah, it's all within yourself. But I'm saying you will, mm. you will get to the point where you will tell the truth 100% of the time in every interaction. Yeah. Cool. And won't that be freeing? Mm, cool. That's total freedom. <coughs> yeah. Jake, can I just share that I was in a communication skills class many years ago and this was what we were told to do. And the whole class disintegrated. <coughs> because people just couldn't deal with it, they couldn't it, handle exactly. it. Exactly. And a lot of your questions about this issue are about your uncertainty about the power of truth. So deal with that emotion too. Right? Many of you don't believe in truth. Many of you have been taught many lies about truth. You've been taught that it hurts you, that it's going to destroy your life, or destroy other people's lives. And These are all the parent projections that have been placed upon you. Let yourself feel them. God's truth is beautiful. The truth is... The truth will set you free. That's the truth. Right? But it means you being 100% committed to that, to you feeling that all the time, being in that truthful state.